isolate. Verb, cause, a person or place to be or remain alone or apart from others. The word has a new meaning as we settle into our quarantine, lockdown, self-isolation lives. April was spent indoors and alone, but I felt a weird combination of community and separation. Ballet classes started again via Zoom, and that took up a lot of time and energy, but it wasn't so bad. It was nice to see familiar faces and dance familiar steps. I began working on a pen pal project with Brianna and Tiffany, and it was both comforting and exhausting to connect people around the world. Want to say hi? Hello. Greetings. Hello. It's too late in the day. <laughs> it made me feel productive for all the work it took, but also invigorated by people's stories. But it was a lot of time and mental energy. I've been working on setting these pen pal emails for the past two hours, and I think I'm only 20% through. Brianna and I were matching people for like four hours yesterday. It was rough. I'm not even halfway through these emails. And I think I'm just vlogging or talking to this camera to make me feel better about myself. So I'm less alone because I realize this is the extrovert in me <laughs> coming out. There was also a weird sort of community as I did basic quarantine things. I did a lot of home baking like most people in isolation and found comfort in measuring ingredients to make magic that is cinnamon rolls. It's so big. I'm excited. Y'all, I just made the date filling and it smells so good. and lots and lots of milk bread. Hello friends, I'm making milk bread today. I've been wanting to make milk bread for the longest time, but I finally got bread flour earlier this week. So we're doing the things. I'm so hyped. You got your dough hook? Mm, okay. name them. Wait, hold on. I really need a pinch of more next time. Hi. What's happening? I'm just curious why it has more air bubbles. The air bubbles come from proofing it, so it's either. Sometimes there's air bubbles, so it just pops up. Yeah. Okay. Is it warm? Yeah. It's warmer than last time. The gas. It's kind of cute. Oh my god. It's like more squishy. <laughs> I'm hoping this time will be better than the last. So cute! Is it? This bubble keeps coming out though. You gotta keep 
You're gonna need it out. I'm gonna send a picture after I'm done, which I'm almost done. I played more Animal Crossing, but less than most. I tried to give Dalgona coffee many, many chances. And unrelated to basic quarantine things, I ate a lot of nut butter. And cried over a little woman. And left the house a total of two times. Friends, we're venturing out the house today. I tried to stay creative and inspired and positive, and most days it was exactly that. But then there would be a wave of sadness and anxiety and muchness that would last the entire day. I'd be fine, then extremely negative, and I hated the person I became. I coped by knowing I was definitely not alone in this feeling right now, and continued. Time no longer makes sense, but I guess that's the time we live in now. While we may be social isolating, I don't feel alone. I'm grateful for internet communities, video calls, all things digital, and all things not digital. I'm grateful for friends, stories, ideas, and small victories. Stay safe and stay grateful, my friends. Hike and even hen. Hike and even hen. Hike and even head. I- oh, I'm stupid. <laughs>